Boston, Jason Tatum scored 36 points, including 10 points in overtime after Jalen Brown's tying three-pointer with 6.1 seconds remaining in regulation, and the Boston Celtics rallied just in time for a 133-128 victory over the Indiana Pacers on Tuesday night in Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Drew Holiday added a season-high 28 points for the Celtics, and Brown finished with 26. Game 2 is set for Thursday night in Boston. Tyrese Halliburton had 25 points and 10 assists for the Pacers, who knocked down 13 three-pointers and scored 56 points in the paint against a Celtics team, still playing without injured 7-footer Chris Dapps Porzingis. But Boston dialed up its defense, finishing with 11 steals, three each by Brown, Tatum, and Holiday. The Celtics become the first team in NBA playoff history to have three players record 25 points and three steals in a game. We keep talking about protecting home court, Celtics forward Al Horford said. It's whatever it takes. Pascal Siakam added 24 points and 12 rebounds, and Miles Turner finished with 23 points and 10 rebounds for the sixth-seeded Pacers, who twice turned it over with a three-point lead in the final 30 seconds of regulation. Brown made Indiana pay for the second one, hitting a three from the corner with Siakam right in his face to tie it at 117 and force overtime. Pacers coach Rick Carlisle said the loss was totally on me for not calling a timeout to advance the ball before their turnover that set up Brown's shot. The Celtics are now 2-2 when their opponent scores 100 or more points. Indiana went back ahead 123-121 to when Halliburton hit all three free throws after being fouled with 146 remaining in OT. Tatum then muscled in a layup and was fouled by TJ McConnell. Tatum completed the three-point play to put Boston ahead for good. Halliburton turned it over on the next possession, and the ball eventually found its way to Tatum at the top of key. Tatum pumped, sidestepped a defender, and sunk a three to make it 127 to 123 with 43 seconds left. Derek White and Siakam then traded layups. Holiday was fouled later and hit two free throws to give Boston a 131 to 125 cushion to seal the win. It's unfortunate we did so many good things in this game that it came down to a couple of mistakes at the end, but it's the NBA playoffs, Carlisle said. We've got to learn from it, and we've got to bounce back. In only the third overtime game of the NBA playoffs, the Boston Celtics outlasted the Indiana Pacers to take game one of the Eastern Conference Finals 133-128 to on Tuesday night. Boston outscored Indiana 16-11 to in overtime to survive. Jalen Brown hit a corner three with 5.7 seconds left to tie it and send it to overtime after Indiana took a lead late. Though the Pacers had that lead, they started off the game as poorly as one could imagine, as Boston opened the evening on a 12-0 run. Indiana came roaring back, however, with 22 first-half assists and tied things up at 64 going into halftime on a Tyrese Halliburton three. Before Game 1, Celtics coach Joe Mazzella called this series a huge test of the Celtics' defense. He believed Indiana's unpredictable spacing, constant motion, and breakneck pace would present unique challenges. Throughout the regular season, nobody played faster than the Pacers. They entered Tuesday ranked first in the playoffs in offensive efficiency after finishing second, trailing only Boston during the regular season. Boston's defense will need to lock in over the rest of the series to give itself an easier time.